guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Victoria and I post on Wednesdays and Sundays. Thanks for joining us. So today we are going to be doing another one of our full size versus miniature size product testings. And actually I am super excited for this one because this is a product that I really 100% didn't think was going to be any different than the sample size version, but I actually did a swatch on my hand yesterday because I didn't want to waste your time if it ended up just being exactly the same. So I swatched it on my hand and I was really, really surprised by the results that I got. So I want to do this video to see if maybe I just did a really horrible swatch, if the lighting was off or what have you. So I'm going to be testing the full size high beam highlighter against the miniature size high beam highlighter from Benefit. And if you're interested to see the results, keep watching this video. First things first, I'm sorry, I just got out of the shower. I feel like I always do these videos once I get out of the shower, so I'm always clean for you guys. Put my hair up. I just went ahead, put on my foundation, concealer, eyebrows, and eyeballs. Did my eyeballs. But that is it. I didn't powder my face, obviously, because I am going to be using a cream highlighter. And I actually really love this highlighter. It's one of my favorites. I just never remember to use it because I feel like cream highlighters are something that I always plan on using and then I just kind of go through the motions and then powder my face. And after I powder my face, I'm like, man, I was gonna use a cream highlighter. I don't really know if this happens to a lot of people. I feel like that's kind of a weird issue to have, but nevertheless, it happens to me a bunch. But I really love this highlighter. If you are not familiar with the High Beam Highlighter, it's from the Benefit brand. And let me just read the back for you. So it's a satiny pink complexion highlighter and the makeup artist's secret to a dewy, radiant glow. This satiny pink highlighter looks perfectly ethereal on all skin tones. To use, dot and blend over makeup onto the cheek and brow bones. So I have the full size and the mini one. So the full size is 10 milliliters and the miniature one is four milliliters. And for all of these testing different size products, I wanna make sure that I got them at the same times as well. I don't think it's a very fair test if you got one at a certain time and the other one 10 months, five months, whatever have you months afterwards. That's not very fair. So I know for a fact that I got both of these at the same time, so we're gonna test these out. I'm gonna be putting the sample sized on my right cheek and the full size product on my left cheek. And what really made me want to test this out, other than the fact that I just happened to have a sample in full size, was that I did the swatch and I was so surprised at my swatch and I am going to insert it right here. The sample size came out so much more silver than the full size. The full size seemed a lot more pinky toned and much less bright almost than the sample size one. I don't know if that was just the lighting in my room. I did check it in a different area that I did not record and it still looked the same, so I wanted to check it out for you guys on camera, on my face, see if it was any different on my actual cheeks, and then just wear it throughout the day, see if they both lasted the same. They look exactly the same in their packaging, so next to each other, they look 100% the same, which is why I thought that they were gonna be totally the same when I swatched them, but, here we go. So you untwist it, and this is very different than most highlighters that I've seen. It's actually a little brush, almost like a nail polish. And you're just going to dot this. I'm gonna do three dots on each cheek. So see that? And then I'm going to just use my finger to put it in. So pretty. Once again, I love this highlighter. 
on so easily. And there's that. I'll be sure to include a clip not using my softbox lights because I feel like that kind of makes everything have such a harsh white glow to it so you can't really see how pinky it is. It just kind of looks silver. Here's the other one. Do three dots. Three dots. And then I'll use a different finger so that it doesn't cross contaminate and rub that in. I am already noticing off the bat this one's a little bit harder to blend. Okay, so this is the miniature side and this is the full side. Full size side. You guys see any difference? I think that the full size side is a little bit shinier. But like I said, I am going to include a clip without the softbox light behind, in front of me, sorry, in front of me, because I feel like it kind of gives an unfair telling of how it actually looks. Let me just kind of look in my mirror here. Yeah, I feel like the full size shows up a little bit better. It definitely isn't as much of a difference on the face as it was on my hand as a swatch, so that's really good. So we'll just see how it wears. I'm going to see if one breaks down faster than the other side, or maybe I just really stink at doing swatches, who knows? And then you can just save some money and get this one because you saw how little those dots were. This is gonna last a very long time. So we will see, and I will just finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna powder down my face. That is gonna be one more test that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if they both powder down the same way. So I have my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination Powder. Just going to powder each one. there, still there, looks the same, they both look fine, no, no issue, and I will be letting you know what I think of how they wear, and I'll check with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so this is a very, very, very close up of my highlighter, this is the sample side, and this is the full size. I still think the full size is a little bit brighter. And I also now think that the sample size kind of picked up a little bit of my foundation. But uh, that's just how I'm feeling right now. And I will check in with you guys a little bit. All right, so ignore the fact that my face is a little bit red. I was just out in the cold and blowing my nose a little bit. But this is how the highlighters are looking. So this is once again the sample size and then the full size. And I do think that there's, once again, like I said earlier, a little less on the sample side, sample size side, but I really think the main difference here is that some more of the foundation has come off on that side. I think this really has to just do with the application that's in the sample size tube and versus the application that's in the full size. The full side is a lot uh, more flimsy, more of a paintbrush type that you would see in nail polish tubes, whereas the sample size has a really dense paintbrush type and it didn't bend or anything, so I feel like it picked up some of my foundation when I applied it, and I feel like that's gonna be the main difference that we're gonna see between these two, but we will see. I will keep it on for a little bit longer and then do a wrap up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so I'm back to finish this video, and I'm sorry guys, this just kind of ended up in a bust. I really thought there was gonna be a more of a difference between the two of these, and it just, they ended up looking the same. I mean, I don't see a difference, do you? 
like I've been saying the whole time, there's a little bit more of a shine on my left cheek, which had the full size product versus my right cheek, which had the sample size, but it is not a significant of a difference to really say that there is a difference. And what was the main difference, which was the swatches, where one looked more silver and the other one looked more pink toned, which led me to make this video in the first place, doesn't even appear on my face, on my skin at all. So that must have just been something with my swatch, or maybe I applied more product or didn't disperse it properly, who knows? But I gave it a shot just to see if there was a difference and it did turn out the same on my face. I will say, however, one thing I did find out though is that I really do like the applicator better on the full size product than the mini size. And I touched on this in my previous update that I did for you guys. So I won't get too much in detail, but just I feel like the applicator on the mini one took off some of my foundation so I didn't like that as much but the product itself I found was exactly the same. So I would say in conclusion that I found that there is no difference between the full size and the mini size of the Benefit Liquid High Beam Highlighter. So that's what I found out for you guys. I am going to be doing more of these for you. Hopefully there will be some more interesting results <laughs> but I mean it is also really good to know that they are the same because that is what you would want out of these products. I love you guys. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you next time. Bye.